Hello. Hello, hello. I am here with a big haul. Um, <clears throat> we went to the bins today and normally I'm there almost the entire day. It's open eight to four. We usually get there around a quarter to eight and we, you know, the last rotation usually around 3.30, maybe three. I don't know. We stay till we, the end of the rotations and then we get in line and we're usually out the door at four. But today we left a lot earlier. In fact, I, was, I think I was home by one, no, not one thirty. I don't know. It was a lot. Let's see. What time did I check out? Does it say? Uh, one thirty-five. Um, but <clears throat> at that point, besides the fact that we were both tired, um, we both had a pretty full cart. And we were like, I'm happy with the amount of stuff I got. I got 62 pounds. 62 pounds. And Karen got a little bit less than me, but she usually gets less than me. But she still got a good amount, especially for her. Okay, let's jump into it. I don't have um, I don't have any method to this madness. I'm just going to pull stuff out and toss them. Okay, this is a Tommy Hilfiger extra large leather jacket. Uh, I don't always buy Tommy Hilfiger, but this is a super nice leather jacket. I'm thinking where the best light is. Okay. Uh, really nice in really good condition. It has one tiny flaw, which is like a little scrape right there, which is not a big deal. I will, of course, note it. And it is lined. Like a little bit of a quilted lining here. And this is, feels like a wool blend. So I love leather jackets. Oh, here's something else that's leather, coincidentally. This needs some work. The inside is roughed up a bit. Look at that. I'm going to have to fix that. That'll take two seconds. But the brand is Scully, and it's vintage. It sure looks vintage. Scully Leatherwear. And I like to pick up Scully. It's a Western wear brand that's quite popular. It's a quilted leather vest with a zip front. I don't buy vests very often, but something like this, yeah, I will. I can't tell what's going on color-wise. It almost looks like it was black and it faded to brown, but would black fade to brown? I don't think so. Um, so this part is brown, and then this part is either darker brown or, it must be darker brown, because here it's a little bit faded. It's roughed up a little bit, but the leather itself is in excellent condition. It's got pockets, elastic waist, I'll try that at the bins. <clears throat> this is J. Jill, size medium, 60% cotton, viscose, rayon, silk, and wool. Very much a staple piece. I did think twice about this, but it's a pretty color. It's sort of tunic length and has the little vents on the side, those slits there. So it lays well if you have a little bit of a tummy pooch. Um, like I do. Mock turtleneck, I think. Yeah. Mock neck. Oh, wait. It's weird. I can't tell. It's sewn down. It's sewn it down in, inside on the corners, and I can't tell if that's something the person did or whether it comes that way. I'm trying to look at the thread. I don't know. I feel like it comes that way. Um, I actually did, even though I got a lot, I actually did put back quite a bit of stuff, um, which I may or may not be happy about. This is the brand Theory, which I understand is a very expensive brand, but not necessarily a great reseller, but I like winter coats and I liked this. Uh, I did find something as I was putting it in the car that I'll need to see if I can fix, not fix, um, clean. So it's got this like plaid inside the hood and it's a, it's a nice zip up winter jacket. I've been doing these standing up and I think that's better, but it's just that I'm tired now because I just got back. So I decided I really needed to sit down. Patch pockets. This is the bottom, hood, lean back. So there's just a little bit of 
schmutz like right there. I don't know what it's made out of. It feels like it has some wool in it, but not 100% wool, so I should be able to clean that. Uh, it's 90% polyester, 10% wool. Yeah, that should be no problem. But otherwise, it's in great condition. Doesn't have any, you know, moth holes or anything, and probably that's because a moth doesn't like a blend. <clears throat> this is Torrid, size 2. It's got the skulls, sugar skulls, regular skulls, and flowers, skulls and flowers, skulls and flowers, and it's a flowy fabric. It can be worn, I believe. Uh, I could probably untie that and pull this gathering down to have a longer sleeve, or you can pull on these to make it, or actually, no, no, it's like a faux faux thing. It just stays gathered like that. It's pretty. It's not going to go for a ton of money, but I do enjoy picking up things like this. So we'll buy it. Uh, this is Ann Taylor, which, oh, you know what? I don't know if it has a size. It might have a size on the side tag. Let's see. Do you have a size? Not that that usually stops me from buying something I want to buy. Uh, I don't see a size tag, a side tag, so I don't have a fabric content and I don't have a size, but what I do have is a sweet pink, like ballet pink. The light is not good in here. I'm sorry. Pullover sweater with these um, ties on the side. I couldn't resist it. I just liked it so much. It looks like it's probably a medium or even a large. I'll check measurements, try it on, and we'll see. Okay, I know, when I first saw these, I saw the brand name. I've only found this brand once before uh, at a yard sale, but they were charging too much. And then when I was showing it to my friend, I couldn't find the brand anywhere. And yet I know I didn't make it up that but anyway they're loud mouth like i can tell because that's the i believe that's an lm and because i can't how is it that i saw loud mouth and then poof i don't oh there it is inside the fly okay i'm not totally crazy some guys come to play and it is a size 36 I think these are these are popular with the golfers who like to wear louder prints and colors. It's got, you know, that fish skeleton thing going on. Won't get a lot of money, but I think it has a following. I'm probably we're not gonna list that for a while. Uh, I did pick up a bathing suit. I do have a spring summer box that's just going off to the side for now. Um, because I have all these winter jackets that need to be listed. And then we'll get to this when we get to it. I found this on the floor, one piece. And I was like, oh, let me look at that. And it turned out it was Miracle Suit, which can do well. So I threw it in my cart. And here it is, pretty blue. I wonder what size it is. I couldn't wear this. It's got underwire and I do not wear underwire. I'm a little bit bony in that area. Uh, it is a size 10. Might fit me. We're a larger size, mostly an eight in a bathing suit, but I don't need that. I did buy a bathing suit for me for swimming laps. This is spider and it needs a spot treatment, but it was so cute. I bought it anyway. It's sort of that fleece jackety thing, but it's not fleece. I don't know what it is. It's, is it fleece inside? It's soft like fleece, but I don't think it is fleece. And that's the uh, mesh lining. Hopefully I'll find information about this to describe it. I think the spots should come out without a problem. It's nothing major. In fact, there may only be one. Can you see it? Right there, not much. Oh, okay. I am staying away from Zara most of the time, but I, I like this one a lot. It's a little blazer, but I can definitely throw, it's got these 
elbow patches. It's got an equestrian feel to me. So since I can use that keyword and it's this nice olive green size, medium, uh, Yep, I like that. I don't really know. I'm just moving my fan because I'm really hot. Oh, I don't really know what blazers are like. What are we doing for blazers now? Are we doing boxy? I don't know. But that is a very classic style. Okay, as I said to my friend when I was shopping, I do not sell White House Black Market very well. And I can't sell lace overlay. So what did I buy? I bought a White House Black Market lace overlay dress because it was too pretty for me not to buy. It's a size eight. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It does have, I don't know if it's been worn because you know how it has the slit at the back or the vent. And then when you buy it, it's sewn together. Well, they may just not have known you're supposed to rip that out. It's just to keep it neater in the store, but then you want to get rid of it to help you walk. Um, it does appear that it had a belt because it's got these, those tiny little string belt loops, but I don't see this as being a dress that needs a belt at all. So I'm either going to cut them or I may find some black ribbon and just put like a pretty black ribbon around it. I have to look and, and see how this was, if I can find like a stock photo, how, they, how it was with the belt. This is, my friend actually found this and gave it to me. It is Levi's Western Wear. It is a very, very scratchy wool. Initially, she gave it to me because she couldn't find the size. I did find the size, but she said I could keep it anyway. It's got the, is that suede? I don't think so. Faux suede elbow pads. Faux suede there. Very uh, Dallas, the TV show. It's, is that like a double yoke? I don't know. I like Western wear stuff and I was disappointed that I did not find much Western wear stuff because certain people go to our bins and seem to find Western wear all the time. I'm not naming any names, that wouldn't be right. This is free people and it is a, I don't know. I'm gonna say cover up. I don't know if these are supposed to be tied. Oh no, it's got a button front. And the person tied these things. So hopefully there's an OB number and I can look it up and see exactly what it's supposed to be. And it's quite long. I uh, would not have bought that under, you know, at a normal thrift store, but at the bins, it's super light. What the heck? I bought this. Why did I buy this? I thought, well, maybe I can include it as a gift with purchase or something at some point because I like it. It just says my spirit animal is a unicorn my spirit animal is not a unicorn. I don't have a spirit animal, so it's not really something I should use. It's just a kitchen table. But I don't know, I guess I could put it in my kitchen. And I bought two pair of pants that are the same, and they're both Maurice's and they're both new with tags. So they were originally $44.90 and they're maternity uh, jegging in this you know, army greenish khaki. And this pair is a size 22W and this pair is a 20W. Now, I only bought two because otherwise, how do I decide which one to get? So it was either get both of them or don't get one at all. I don't expect that to sell for a ton, but they're new. What the heck? I picked up a few, um, a couple of Calvin Klein dresses. I actually ran into several, I'm so hot, several Calvin Klein dresses. And in the past, I have done well with Calvin Klein dresses. But I haven't sold any in a while. So I did break down and buy two. This is just a mini ball cap. And I have a few Disney things that I decided I might lot together as a Disney lot. So I thought this would go with it. It's cute. Nothing special. Uh, this is the first... Calvin Klein, and I did actually, there was a third one that I ended up not getting, so my friend bought it. Um, it's like a faux suede, super suede, ultra suede, whatever they call it, size 16. The thing is, is it's heavy. Like this is probably close to two pounds. 
just a regular uh, sort of shift dress with an exposed zipper at the back, gold, and purple. Purple, who doesn't like purple? I was very good. I didn't buy any kids' things. I kept turning away from the kids' things. I even had a pair of boots that turned out to be a youth size six that were cowboy boots, new with tag, with a sale price $100. And I did not take them because I'm like, I am done with kids. I'm not buying kids. They don't sell. They're just going to sit. And even if I sell them, it won't be for enough. And I ended up giving them to someone else who was just like, oh, those are so cute. I'm like, you want them? I'm putting them back. But then I found this and I bought it. And I think you'll understand. It is this cute little dress with apple lumps. No boozles, just apple lumps. And it is Lily Pulitzer. Oh, isn't that cute? Size six. Little tie, ties there. I was so proud of myself, too. But what are you going to do? Oh, here's a pair of shoes. I haven't... Uh, uh, most of the shoes will come out together, but this was thrown in. And this is just a thin black belt, which is something I needed to go with a dress I have. I got lucky and found it. It's not a high-quality belt, but it'll work, I think. And that was on my personal list. I got I, I got one of these. Someone else had one. And we tossed a coin. And, of course, I won. Because that's what I do most of the time. They are Coach Ballet Flats. Nice leather. They appear to be in very good condition. Size 8. Which was her size. She was shopping for herself. So I felt, felt a little bit bad. But, I mean, we tossed a coin. Um, a little bit of fading on the like gold lame look there but overall very nice i did have a few throwbacks because they were singles not as many as usual but they were still heartbreaking calvin klein this one's a size six it's a black dress it's got the gold zipper that's that's uh exposed but it's i don't know it's got a edgier moto-y look with the that thing so i don't know a couple of people said, oh, that's so nice. You should get it. I'm like, thanks. Thanks a lot. You're really helping me. Um, this is the North Face. Don't necessarily do that well, but it was just sitting at the top. And it's, it's small, unfortunately. It looks like an extra small. No, just a small. But it's a cute little, little zip up front with a hood. I can sell it. Or I can keep it. I don't know this brand. I don't think it's a good brand, but I did look up comps and it does sell and some of the nicer ones sell for more, but it was new with tag TTNC London. Um, it is, uh, so, do I have a size here? Size 12. It is the Katya maxi wrap. So I liked that. I liked that it was a maxi and that it was a true wrap. And I thought it was really, really pretty. And I think this will look lovely on my mannequin and on some person who buys it. It's a little layering situation going on there. I think, well, I think that's the lining, the under layer, which is a little bit shorter. So it's sheer. And then you see that at the bottom. I don't know. I think that'll look really pretty on a, on my, on my mannequin. Um, I almost threw it back. And then I was just like, let me see whether that sells at all. This is a brand that I am not familiar with. Oh, there's a little bit of a erosion situation with the lining there. Can you see it? It's got a little hole in it. I'll, I'll probably uh, just stitch it a little bit so it doesn't get worse. But it is new with tag. It's a men's winter coat. Oh, is it double-breasted? It is. Classic. And it's, you know, like a, do you say midi length with men? You know, it's not like a jacket. It's like a, a coat that hits, it's midi length. Men's midi. And it is, it calls itself a cashmere blend. Cashmere blend, fabric woven in Italy, Allen St. George, American classic. And I don't know what this tag is. But it says compare $250. $129.95. Would you keep that? 
or maybe cut it off with the compare or just cut the price entirely and just leave it there. Tell me, please, please. Then I met, a, I met another reseller named Megan. She was very nice and she brought me this and asked if I would want it. This is Nautica, size large. Now, I'm 75% certain that Nautica with the capitals is the, is the vintage and Nautica with the lower case is the modern. Um, but I could be 30% that it's the opposite. A nice 100% wool wintry sweater. I would call it a man's size large. Love this sweater. Winter, where are you? Winter! Uh, this is Anne Klein, AK Anne Klein, uh, which is a brand that I am not actively looking for, but a, a nice winter coat. Black. Big buttons, belted pockets, feels like a wool blend, fully lined. Would hit below, hmm, at or just below the knee. So, you know, a classic style. This will look lovely in pictures. Lane Bryant, another brand I don't go out of my way for. Designs and Company Lane Bryant. I saw it and I was like, I'm never gonna buy that. But then I picked it out, I'm like, ooh. Look at the pattern. Moose. Trees. And it's fully lined. So it's like a fleecy, nubby, fleecy, warm winter, fall thing. Would you have bought that? Full zip. Okay, one more item of clothes. No, two more items of clothes, and then the rest is footwear, and we're done. So. Yeah, we'll get through it all. This is called Seven Palm Brand Island Authentics Hawaiian. It is 100% silk and as wrinkled as possible, which in retrospect, I should have thought about how much fun it's going to be to try to unwrinkle this. Not so much. Um, but I liked it a lot. It's the kind of raw silk. It's not the slippery silk. I don't like the slippery silk. I don't find that as much anymore, especially in Hawaiian shirts, I don't think. It's got a sort of uh, grainy, almost ripstop quality to the fabric. No rush to list that. Though somebody might need it because they are gonna go to Hawaii for Christmas. And the last item of clothing, okay. This is amazing. I think I, think I got a good jacket here. You, you tell me. Uh, when we were driving, I mentioned that, you know, how, how some people find so much Lululemon and we never do. Um, and then I think they pull a lot of it because if you go to the Goodwill auctions online to the Las Vegas portion, it's just crammed with Lululemon. So I saw this jacket and I mean, obviously I've just given it away, but I see this black jacket and it feels really good, but I don't see a tag on it at all. I look at the zipper and sure enough, the zipper has the little Lululemon thing on it. And then, so I'm like, oh, and then, of course, it says Lululemon right there. I don't know if you can see it. Yes. And then uh, I think the other sleeve or the bottom has the, where's the, uh, well, somewhere it has the, the little, the little insignia as well. I don't remember where, but it's a, a puffer jacket, black puffer jacket. See? I feel like this could be a good thing. No tag though. So I'm going to have to do some research and um, oh, here's the, do they use size dots on a, on something like this? Oh, here it is, size dot. It's a size eight and it's got the numbers going around it. So as far as I know, that means it is not one of the older pieces. I don't know if it's, it's not focusing, but you get it. So I don't know, is this a good find? I feel like this could be a really good find. I also feel like I could try it on and go, aw, I like that. Can I keep it? No, no, no. Okay, footwear, and then we're out. Whew. And I need to throw some cold water on myself. Okay, this was one of the singles that I actually managed to find the double of. They are brown leather boots with this lace, sort of, sort of retro-y, the toes need a little work, a little scraping but I don't care. I believe these are vintage. 
They're lined with some sort of felty, woolly, fleecy thing, and they are Blondo. Made in Canada, uh, nine and a half B, waterproof. I believe all Blondo is waterproof. So despite this, which I will fix up a little bit, I think they'll be fine. Bottoms are in good shape. Everything, everything's in good shape. I'm gonna save my favorite surprising boots for last. Birkenstocks, didn't even find these right away. They were like picked over bins that I went, I keep going back. And I don't know what this style is called. I didn't even look. Oh, I can't possibly know. Oh, I can't see the size. It's a size 39. Oh, that's unusual. I was surprised those were there. Threw them in. Didn't really look. I, I looked on the corners to make sure I didn't see any. Like, I don't mind it being bent a little bit there. But if there's a crack through it, then that is a problem. Um, <clears throat> I didn't look anything up about these because I just like them. These are Skechers, and Skechers does have a following. Let me take the elastic off of it. They're like a platform sandal with Vel Velcro. I really like these. I think they're a size, did I find a size on them? Oh, they're a 10. I don't know if you, it's in there somewhere. Size 10, aren't they nice? I mean, I think they're nice, and the gold is nice. I got me some stripper shoes, dancer shoes. These are pleasers, which as far as I know is the most wanted stripper shoe. It's not the ones that are clear, loose sight there. They're gold. And that's gonna be fun to photograph. And they are a size eight. Where did I see the size? Did I imagine that? Oh, there it is. It's, I thought it was on the heel, but it's right there. So the heels, the, the bottom's not loose sight, but it does have, this is all, yeah, it's got some toe marks. So I will say, you know, fairly well used stripper shoes, dancer shoes, a little bit of scrapes on the, on the gold, but overall decent shape. I'll put those up for, I don't know, maybe 30. I gotta do a little research. I don't have a lot of experience with pleasers. I've only sold them once. And I made money, but I paid too much for them, so it wasn't really worth it. But I didn't lose money. I made money. Okay, these are men's shoes. They are Timberland Boot Company, US 12. And I'm hesitant about Timberland because it doesn't necessarily sell that well. But I really liked these. They're a lace-up, like, check a boot. I will stuff it, clean them up a little bit. They don't, they don't need much. Okay, these are, these have been well used. These are Carhartt work boots. And this style is still available on many websites for about $190. And because they're a work boot, it doesn't matter that they're scraped up a bit. The bottom is in good shape. The inside looks good. They are a size eight, which I assume is men's. Assuming. Hmm. Yeah, there are men's eight. These do not have a steel toe. They, I think they list them as a soft toe. Unless they have two styles, because that's not a soft toe. But that maybe they call it a soft toe if there's no steel in there. I wanted to try them because they're Carhartt. They're heavy, so... I may have paid like six bucks for them. But that's not bad. I mean, no way I'm not gonna sell them for more than that. Uh, this is a brand that can sell quite well. And these are kind of messed up, but again, in the work boot thing, that's not that big a deal. The Vibram, they're, they're Danner. Uh, I found this exact model without a problem. So the comp's pretty decent. This is a, also a size 12. It's called the Acadia. Um, it's got, it doesn't have laces. It has lace holes with, with this thing in it and then the zipper. And it's kind of bent up here. So it took a little work to zip it, but not too bad. Um, so I'm going to clean them up, stuff them. Gore-Tex. They're Gore-Tex. And they're heavy. But I know I have looked at Danner on auctions and they always go too high. Uh, but you can get some really good, good comps. And we are down to the wire, just two. Okay, there was a sneaker guy and he was, 
he was at the end of the bin and he was putting stuff back and he put these back and I've never had this brand. Um, I know at one time they were a good brand and they're maybe not as much anymore, but are you my size? They're size eight. I wonder if they would fit me. They're all birds and they're like a felt, but they're dirty on the toe. Like someone dipped their foot into dirty water. So I have to see whether I can just, does it do? Yeah, you can throw it in. Oh, you can throw it in the, um, in the washer. So I'm going to wash them. They are super fine ZQ certified Merino. Wash on delicate air dry. Okay. I mean, this is in excellent. Look how, how clean that is. That's usually the part that's the big trouble is that. I don't have to do a thing with that. So, yeah, I'll try those. I've never had all birds. And these, uh, the brand is not like the amazing thing. So I see these boots and I don't do anything with them. And then I go back around and they're still there. And I'm like, let me look at those. I feel like they're, you know, maybe on some sort of trendy website where they like big clunky things. Um, and so they've got this wooden heel with just, and they're good leather. It just goes halfway. Lace is still here. They have this like gator thing that covers the laces that go all, the, it's laces all the way up. Here, let me undo this. These are so cool. The laces go all the way up and look, they're Timberland. I never would have guessed that. These are so cool. I can't even stand it. It's a couple of marks. I don't care. I don't even think I can do anything with that or that I'll bother. Um, and I think they're a really good size. Remind me what size you are. I don't, I don't know if I actually even knew. It has a side zipper too. So easy to get into. Oh, here it is. The size is 10. They're a women's 10. I'll have to look up and see if I can find this through the model number or a Google image search, but oh my God, I think these are just incredible. Incredible. Okay, that's everything and it's been 35, 36 minutes. So that's not bad. <clears throat> Did I miss anything? No. All right, so I had not been to the bins since May when I was at the bins in Reno. And then I think a month or two before that, when I met some other resellers. So I was so happy to be back. Um, and we're already, like I already said, I'll be ready again. And like, I'm available most of September, except for two weekends. So we're definitely gonna go maybe mid to late September. Um, and then I'm out of town for a while, but then we'll go again after that. Um, so I enjoyed it. We both are happy with our things. What do you think? Did I get anything here amazing? Is there stuff here you wouldn't have bought? I'm sure there is. Do you play that game? I watch a video of a reseller and I go, oh, I would get that. Oh no, I would not get that. Why would they get that? Oh, you know. So we all have our own tastes and I know I get things that other people wouldn't get. Otherwise they wouldn't have still been there, right? Um, okay, thank you. <clears throat> Losing my voice. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Just because it's a nice thing to do. And hopefully I will see you on another video in a not very, very long time, but it probably won't be really quickly or soon. <laughs>